Templates are the key to getting your work done faster. In my opinion, every time you can templatize something or document something in your business, it allows you to scale 10 times faster. So how can we use templates inside of our YouTube videos to allow us to create content faster? Well, inside of my YouTube lead flow formula, I actually show you how to create a production line for all of your YouTube videos that allow you to create content faster. And one of the key elements inside of this production line is creating templates for your videos that you can plug and play into every single one. Now, Descript is one of my favorite editing tools that allows you to do this really easily. You can actually create templates inside of a tool like Canva and then upload them into Descript so that you can use them in every single one of your videos. Now, when I'm talking about templates, I am talking about the little graphics that you see throughout your video that keep your viewer engaged. These can be things like lower thirds text. It can be things like your social media icons. It can be your call to action. Whatever it is that you want to have across all of your different videos, you can create templates for and then upload into Descript so that you have everything all in one place and you can allow yourself to create a production line that allows you to edit a lot faster. So before we jump into Descript, let's jump over into Canva so I can show you how you can create these templates for yourself fast. Now, if you want access to my exact Canva templates that you can use for all of your YouTube videos, make sure to click the link below and grab access to my YouTube Fast Track Toolkit. Okay, so I'm inside of Canva here. And what we're gonna do is just come up to the top where it says Creative Design. And we're gonna come into a YouTube thumbnail because those are the dimensions of a YouTube video. We wanna make sure that we're creating things proportionate to the size of what your actual video will look like. Okay, so now that this has opened up, we can just come up to the top here and name this YouTube branding templates. Now I want you to think to yourself, what do I want to have in terms of elements on every single one of my videos? Maybe you want your name to come across the bottom of the screen at the beginning of every single one of your videos. Maybe you want a certain call to action in every single one of your videos. Maybe you want your social media icon on every single one of your videos. Think through this list before you actually open up Canva because this will make the process that much faster. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your name, your social media icons, and a call to action that you can use in every single one of your videos. So for your name, let's come over into the elements section and let's just grab a simple shape. We're gonna do a simple square here. So when you grab that, you can see it plops onto the screen here. Now you can kind of play around with the shape. So let's say I want it a little bit longer, maybe a little bit thinner here. And then in the middle, I wanna add my name. So I'm gonna say Melissa Mitchell, and then I'm gonna say YouTube strategist because that is what my title is. So here I'm gonna make this uppercase, and then I'm also going to make it bold, and we can change the font. So let's say we want to use League Spartan as the font, okay? So you would wanna use your brand font here, obviously. And then we can also change the size. So let's make this bigger. And let's also say, I wanna change the color from this green to maybe uh, a nice pink or maybe a lighter green like that. There we go, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it to where I would want it inside of my video. So. I would probably want it on the lower left-hand corner like this, maybe not quite this big. So I'm gonna make it a bit smaller here. Maybe this way here. And then I'm gonna have to make the font a little bit smaller so that it fits. But maybe I want it about like that, perfect. And you can do other little things here as well if you wanted. Maybe I want to add my logo to it so I could come into here and grab my logo. Now I already have mine loaded, but you would wanna come up into here and say upload and then grab your brand asset or your logo from your computer. But then we can just kind of add some different things in here, right? So let's say this is a white logo. So I'd again wanna create another graphical element here. Maybe I want it to be another square and I want this one maybe to be pink. And again, just drag it over here to match alongside my other one. There we go. Now this is over top of my logo itself. So if I just hit, if I hit right click on this actual thing and come to layer, you can say send to back and you'll be able to see that it's there. And then I can just readjust my logo here. 
there we go. Now I have a perfectly good name or lower third that I can use as a template on all my videos. So let's leave that one. The next thing I'm gonna do is say add page and we're gonna create the next one. So let's say we wanna add our social media icon. So let's come up to again to the top here where it says elements and I'm gonna just search Instagram and I want to pull in the Instagram logo here. So in graphics, if you hit see all, there's gonna be a bunch of different options here that you can pick and choose from. So I'm gonna pick this one and I'm gonna again, scale it down. And I maybe wanna change the color and add some brand colors in here. So I'm gonna add my pink here, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna pull it all the way to the top because this is where I would want it in my video. Next, I'm gonna do same thing, but I'm gonna do Facebook. And again, I'm gonna grab the element here. I'm gonna change the color at the top to that same pink. And we're gonna scale it right down again and pull it over to the side. So let's say these are the two ones that I want on here. I can center it. And then I also wanna have my handle, right? Because I want people to know where they can follow me, what my username is. So again, I'm gonna to come to text off the side here and I'm gonna say at Wanderment Creative. I'm gonna make that bold. And I'm gonna just pull it right up at the top here. Now, maybe I want this to be white, but I also wanted to have an effect. So if you come to the effects section here, you can add outlines, you can do a bunch of different things. So let's say I wanna have an outline of black and I want it to be, you can change the thickness and all these different options here. Let's say it's about 40 and there we go. That's exactly what I want. Now this is a little bit big. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure this is lined up sent to the center of these graphical elements. And then I'm gonna grab all of them like this and I can actually make this a bit smaller. So let's say I want it about that size, perfect. And that's the exact position I would want it on my video frame. So there we go, that one's done. The last one we're gonna do is we're gonna hit add page again here and we're going to add a call to action. Maybe we want someone to grab a freebie of ours. Maybe we want them to watch a webinar of ours, join our Facebook group, whatever it may be. So let's come down into elements again and let's grab an arrow because I want them to know that they can click the link below, right? So I'm gonna grab an arrow and maybe I want this one right here this kind of fun like drawing looking one. So I'm gonna just turn it and scale it down a bit. Pull it up to the top here. And then maybe I want to have another element, maybe like a sticker element or something like a sticky note. You can kind of have some fun here of what you want these things to look like because there's so many different options when it comes to Canva. But let's say I want this one here. This is kind of a fun, fun sticky note and then I can come back up here and grab some text and so in the text let's say join my Facebook group right and so let's make this uppercase again bold and if we want it like that other things you can do here of course are the different spacing options within Canva as well so if you want to make these lines a little bit tighter you can go ahead and play with all the different tools in here Let's say I want it kind of like this. And I also want this arrow to kind of hover over the side. Where would that look good? Or maybe like this actually. Okay, there we go. And then I can change the colors of these, of course, to my actual brand colors. So let's change it to the dark maybe a little light and then maybe I want to make this writing actually white now that it's on a dark group. There we go. So now again I can highlight all of it and scale it down to be a little bit smaller and we can place it where we want to have our call to action. So maybe we want it here, maybe we want it over here, wherever we want. I'm going to place it in the upper left to make it just a bit bigger. So there we go. Now we have our call to action we have our social media handles and we have our name. 
So you would continue this same process with all of the different brand templates that you want to have in every single one of your videos. But this is just to give you an example of how easy it is to create these inside of Canva. And if you come into the different templates inside of Canva here and the different elements, there are so many different fun things you can create for your videos. So play around, let your creativity shine here and really come up with some fun templates for you to use. So once you've finished creating all of your templates, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to the top where it says share. And this is what's really key. If you hit download here, there's gonna be some different options. And I want to make sure you have it as PNG and as a transparent background, because what that's gonna do is it's going to get rid of the white here and it's going to allow you to just have the element itself and the rest of it clear. So you can put it over top of your videos inside of Descript, okay? So make sure that's clicked on and then you're gonna hit download and save it to wherever you want on your computer. And we're going to actually bring these into Descript and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so now that we've created the templates inside of Canva, we need to bring them into Descript and create the templates inside of here. So when you first open up the application, I want you to come over to the template side on the left-hand side. And here you're gonna see some templates I've already created, but you're gonna come up to the top and hit new template. It's gonna open up a video project just like it would if you were editing a video. And you can come up to the top and say YouTube branding templates or whatever it is that you wanna name your templates. Then all you're gonna do is say add file and you're gonna find the files that you just downloaded to your computer from Canva. So I'm gonna grab the first one here and I'm gonna open that. And if I bring the timeline up at the bottom here, you're gonna see that it's been added there to a scene. So now if I just had this one, I could come up to the top and hit publish template. But because I created three separate graphics inside of Canva, we can put them all into this one template. And so to do that, I'm gonna to come to the very end of this here and hit enter on my keyboard. And we're just gonna create another scene inside of Descript by hitting this little add scene button right here. And now we're just gonna say add file and grab the second one that we created in Canva. And that's gonna load in just like that. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing, hit enter, create a new scene, add the next file, and that one's gonna load in. So now we have three separate scenes created in Descript with our three graphics created on there. And if you wanted to move things around, you could definitely do that. You could scale it, you could move it to the other side of the, of the image here. But because we created these with the correct ratio inside of Canva, it automatically puts it in the way we wanted it to. So now what we can do is come up to the top here where it says publish template and it's going to bring up this little review section here. And this is where we can actually name the individual files because we have them separated into three separate scenes. So here I could say name because that's what that is. We could say social media icons. And here we could say CTA. And now once we have these named, we can come down and decide if we want this to be a private template, if we wanna share it with our drive, our Google Drive, and anyone who might be on that Google Drive, or if we wanna share it publicly so that anyone could use it if they were using Descript. But because these are branded graphics, I wanna keep them private and I would say publish template. Now, if we come back over into the main section of Descript, so back to projects and in templates, you're gonna see that it's sitting right there for us to use. So when we go back into our projects and we say new video project, we'll be able to see at the top here under templates, if we scroll down, we'll be able to see the new YouTube branding templates that we just created and we could click in that. And then all we would do is drag it over into our video project. There you go. You can now add templates into your videos inside of Descript really fast so that you don't have to be digging through files on your computer, trying to find little branding templates that you can add into every single video. And I just gave you hours back in your life. So you're welcome. <laughs> Remember that you can create templates like this in so many different ways. I just showed you Canva because that's the simplest way to do it. But you can create templates for literally anything that you want to do inside your videos and follow this exact same process. Another really fun thing that I recommend doing is going to a site like Creative Market and looking at the different motion graphic templates they have available there that you can customize and then upload again into something like Descript to then rinse and repeat on all of your different videos.
If you want to check out Creative Market or some of my other favorite places to find motion graphics, I'll make sure to link them in the description below for you. Now, if you're in love with Descript, just like I am, and you want to know how to edit your videos quickly in 20 minutes or less, make sure to check out this video right here, and we'll catch you next time.